neatly tucked away against the Palm Mountains is the Cape Brewing Company, also known as CBC, where brewmaster Wolfgang Kudel has refined the art of producing arguably the best craft beer in South Africa. While beer brewing is certainly a science that CBC has perfected, it is a well-known fact that the brewing process requires a tremendous amount of energy in the form of heat. In an effort to reduce production costs and increase their competitiveness in the marketplace, CBC decided to take a leap forward by becoming the first brewery in South Africa to use solar thermal technology in their beer brewing process, and in so doing brew South Africa's first green beer. Being in a country where the sun is available in abundance, it was pretty natural that we follow on that path and see for further improvements and solution. E3 was a company started in 2008 when South Africa was going through the uh, energy crisis that it was. Being a rather specialized service that we offer, clients tend to often find us. When Stellenbosch University heard that CBC was looking into getting a solar thermal system, they offered to do a feasibility study for CBC as part of the Soltrain initiative sponsored by the Austrian Development Corporation. The aim of the Soltrain initiative is to promote renewables in Southern Africa and as a means of promoting renewables they have an education section with certain training sessions that you had to go for and secondly they have a pot of money for example systems like this one here at CBC that people can go and visit and get more information on and just kind of get the snowball rolling for more systems down the line. A tender was put out in the industry and E3 Energy was selected from a list of 12 other tenderers as being the preferred company for this prestigious project. The mandate was clear, to offset CBC's existing paraffin fuel bill by a minimum of 50% through the use of free solar energy. This was, however, not enough for the passionate team at E3 Energy, as they further optimized the original design, which was welcomed and approved by the brewery and their consultants at the Center for Renewable and Sustainable Energy Studies at the University of Stellenbosch. We're passionate about what we do. It's not just about getting another sale. It's about doing something that we love. And a project like this is exactly in line with our strategy as a company. One of the key criteria for selecting the respective final candidate was that we needed to have minimal interruption in our day-to-day -day operation and production. And from our experience, I can only say it was done with absolute precise. We hardly noticed that they actually were here. The installation process required careful planning to ensure that any interruption to CBC's operations was kept to a minimum. The new tank and heat exchange station were carefully lowered through CBC's roof and placed amongst the rest of the brewing equipment. There they stood proudly, specifically measured to fit into the spaces afforded by the facility. Piping was run from the plant room to the roof space and was well insulated to ensure minimal heat loss. With these components in place, it was time to install the heat source. 12 times 10 square meter solar collectors were craned onto the roof one by one, forming an array capable of producing a peak output of 84 kilowatts of free thermal energy. The solar system designed by E3 Energy's team of thermal specialists consists of the solar collectors, a heat exchanger and a thermal store. But what makes this project unique is the component selection and control methodology offered by E3 Energy as part of their solution. Large-scale solar thermal collectors totaling 120 square meters were carefully selected and imported from Austria, while the 10,000 liter stainless steel storage tank was custom-made locally to E3 Energy's specifications. The quality of the beer being produced is of utmost importance and necessitated the design of a cutting-edge plate heat exchange station with variable speed drives for the circulation pumps and advanced controls to indirectly transfer heat produced by the panels on the roof to the natural spring water stored in the tank. I think what makes this project unique is the technologies that have gone into it. This is the first time that these particular large-scale solar thermal collectors are being used in Southern Africa. They were imported specifically for this project because they optimized hydraulic flow characteristics. This increased efficiency means little unless it's being managed correctly. 
So our system includes a monitoring system which we can actually check and sign into from our, the comfort of our offices to be able to see how the system is performing on a day-to-day -day basis. We can also manipulate settings from our office to be able to optimize the system's performance and also um, do a level of preventative maintenance which allows us to spot problems before they actually arise. I'm absolutely convinced that the system itself will be a great add-on and a benefit for our convenient daily operation. The benefits of a system like this to our end users is naturally the fact that they have become a more green and environmentally conscious client, but secondly because they have a cost saving which is going to be with them for the duration or for the lifespan of the product, being 15, 20 plus years. So when they have a return on investment like CBC at six years, the balance of the years remaining of the life of the product is pure savings. So naturally they have not only a cost saving on their day-to-day -day operation, but also an actual raw profit on bottom line. E3 was a very good choice for us because we could see that the enthusiasm was there from minute one during presentation. From all candidates, they realized the best that they could take this project as a showcase for themselves, for their company, in order to show the public, the world, people like you sitting in the audience right now, what they are capable to do. A project like this would not have been possible without the amazing staff that we have within the E3 group of companies. A special thanks goes to Soul Train in association with AEE Intech and Stellenbosch University, to CBC for believing in us and for sharing our vision, and to our suppliers who have been an amazing support throughout the process. To all of you, thank you very much for your support.